Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I'm at Drew Cooper's gym here in Napa, California. And um, we just did about, how, how many swings do you think you did yesterday? Oh God, the TrackMan picked up a little over a hundred. Okay, so the TrackMan picked up a hundred swings, so we probably, and of those, Drew probably did like 60 all well, out Well, yeah, that's just like that. drivers. Yeah. So there's more six irons, wedges. Oh, right. Yeah. Drew, uh, kind of show us where you're sore after yesterday. Yeah, it's all sore, mid-back to kind of base of this neck. Yeah. Um, today, Drew, the only thing I wanted to ask you, too, is mix in maybe like a little like chest. What are you, what are you thinking we should do today? Yeah, so a mobility upper body um, mm -hmm. and some, I guess you call it like golf power. So we'll do some rotational power oh, cool. stuff on the Kaiser. Oh, cool. Um, but nothing that targeted your legs, basically. Right. So it's a way to shift stress mm -hmm. from day to day. So I guess the first thing we'll do is, is get on this? Yeah, just yeah. to get hot. Cool. Okay, so what should we start? So we'll kind of do similar to that. Okay. Yesterday. Oh okay. yeah. But we'll kind of. Oh, the bone mobility stuff. Yeah. So it's gonna be like like we did with the sprints and jumps. This is our upper body. Power. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna use your legs, so it's it's not right to call it upper body, but it's just sort of how we use it today. So what you're gonna do is you're you're free to step. Uh -huh. You don't have to, but you can step and throw. Wow. And you go as fast as hard as you want. We'll play around with the weight essentially to get the highest the resistance and get the highest peak power number we can. Oh, okay, because you go too heavy, it'll start going lower. You go too light, you're just not getting enough on the Correct. Oh, okay. Because it matches how fast you go with the resistance and it puts out a number. Yeah, so peak power is work right, so over time. I'm going from here. Yeah, yeah right? So you can step if you want. And here, uh, we can reset it. Uh -oh. So that's me. Oh, because it's on peak. Yeah. Right, yeah. So now whatever you get, that's going to be, and then we'll show you a percentage of what you're doing. Of your peak. Of your each rep. So you'll achieve a new peak, and then the next rep, if you're under, it'll be. So if you do 100 peak. and then you do 90, it'll, it'll show 90. you 90%. Yeah. How many of them did I do? You're gonna do six. Okay. And they all can be pretty all out, right? Yeah, as hard as you want to throw this thing. There you go. There you go. Really good. So we'll so, see maybe so, more weight would give me more power. So that right. was 16. 1634. Do you know which one was my fastest? Were you watching? I think it was the third to last. Uh, Oh, okay, okay. Right in the, somewhere right in the middle. Yeah. Okay, and that was sixteen thirty-four. And that what was, was current power mean? That was seventy-two percent of the last. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so then we'll face in towards the machine. And you'll so did you it. make it uh, heavier? So I just I reset it. So okay. the same it's way. The same way. Okay. The opposite side. Oh, gotcha. So you got an option. You can either a, for the camera. Yeah, grab that side. And just, now obviously this is your non. Dominant side, so we wouldn't expect the same one, but mm -hmm. are you it, pretty even, equal? Or I'm pretty way better on my oh, okay. dominant on side, side yeah, yeah, just for so much golf, just for comfort. With that, right? Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> That's one of your last one. Okay, good. Well, it's like a motor control thing. You know exactly, I mean? it's, it's like, like a comfort. It, the power is probably 10% less, but the, the motor control and the comfort is very different. Yeah, yeah, it's probably different. Like, I would never be angry at something and just left-handed, you know? Yeah. Okay, right. then we gotta, yeah, we're going to do a med ball throw. So you're gonna okay, so mixed in with that, we're going to... Yeah, let me go grab, I think we left the 10-pounder outside. Oh, okay. So again, like, we're going to call this upper body, but really you're going to sink back in your knees... Uh, and basically chest passes me as hard as you can. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get, the better you do it, you're going to end up with a little like hip sink and throw. Yeah. Right? So you're going to sequence. It's funny because I don't really use my lower body much, but then sometimes like I'll over bend, you know. Right. And you're just going to right from your chest. Okay. That's not what. 
has to sink into your heels almost and then explode to me. When you're at TPI, you know. do they have you do those? You know, they have those like four exercises that they can tell if you're powerful or not. No, so that's the level two power. Three more. One more. Perfect. And we'll come back to this side and we'll try a little heavier. Yeah, this is cool. So then you'll go a little heavier and and, and we'll if see. the power goes up. We're on the right track. The peak power, then we know. Yeah, so it's only three pounds, three and a half pounds heavier. Okay. And we'll we'll see a difference. Where where are you doing that? On this? Yeah, the plus sign for So every time you push it, it gives it a little yeah. Again, don't worry about stepping. So like if you step, like you can think of it as a sequencing thing. Legs, hips, boom, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'm just athletically figure out how to get the same movement as so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So last one, best one. Okay. Like better than your Was that higher bike? than last or Yeah, lower? so by about 10 watts. So okay. not much, okay. but the, the Oh, was it like 10, 1260 before? Right. Oh, and my very last one was 100%. Yeah, and you hovered around 98%. Like, you never get below 1200, really. Oh, good, good. That was good. Yeah. Left ear, right? Yep. Yeah, this is definitely something you wouldn't want to do on your normal cable machine. No, because that weight's down. Yeah, so this is where, like, you're better off if you have a wall and a med ball. Yeah. Would be option number two. Yeah, throw against a, a, a wall as hard as you can. And option three would be throw the med ball and go chase it. Yeah. You get a helper. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Really good. Perfect. All right, eleven thirty-eight. The best one was your third one. Okay. That's that start to that cue yeah. a little work and just as, as like a a cue to actually. Yeah, um, sequence a little bit. Yeah, use the ground basically. All right, how many is? Six. <clears throat> Good. Yeah, 1270. 12, so now we, we're going to say that that was a good weight then, huh? Right? Yes, we, I put it up a pound because of how consistent you were. Okay. I think you've got more in you. But you shouldn't feel a whole bunch of a difference here. You're going to have to show us your. When you do this, how many. What's your peak power record? It's like 2,500, 2,400. Wow. So similar to like on that, on what, what were we talking about? Oh, the the shrug. That was like. More than double, like 2.5. And then you're doing more than double on this. But so like, just so people understand, like watts uh -huh. is a very noisy number. So oh, like, okay. like a slight increase in either distance, so like displacement, so work in time. Uh -huh. um, if the time is a bit faster or if the mm -hmm. weight's a bit heavier, it'll jack the number up. Sort of not exponentially, but like in a oh, so, so the perfect number is gonna be a short burst of speed with a, like an intense, like a short so, amount of time and intense. A lot of weight yeah. or a big range of motion in a short amount of time. Uh, That's high power. Okay. Yeah. Certain thing like if I think there's something there and I'm trying to hit through, through that fast yeah. rather than just like pull the cord because by the time you pull the cord it's over and yeah. you can go quite as hard as you want. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing we're talking about the golf swing. Everything has to happen for real. Or very so, much so, yeah. Especially the golf swing is like you're back and through. It's like the whole th the whole swing is a second, but really your control part of the swing it's is so like a quarter a second, yeah. That's why when people talk about like holding wrist angles, it's like you have no. Oh, control. Yeah, it's so gone by then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
So we forgot to reset it, but you were about 80% at 1,400. Oh, okay, that was my peak. Yeah. And you were watching the numbers. Yeah, yeah, like, there were like 13s or... 8%. Oh, okay. Do that one more time? One more of the net ball pass. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and it's the same thing I would say to somebody is, like in sports, they have this uh, force velocity profile. So people can be force deficient or velocity deficient. What's the difference there? So like you would, like if you were a low, a low jumper, but a high weight squatter, so you squat uh -huh. you could jump high, oh, okay. you need to focus on speed oriented things. Okay, so you could squat a lot of weight, but not really thrust it. Yeah. <laughs> and one more. Um, vice versa. Yeah. Some people are very weak compared to how high <laughs> they can jump or how fast they can sprint. And those people should theoretically get faster and jump higher by getting stronger. Yeah, it's amazing, like, when because I used to do all the Lakers documentary stuff. And it's amazing how when they do assessments and stuff, these guys that can, like, like put their whole hand in the rim and jump so well, they'll, they'll do certain, like, assessments on it, and they're like, do a squat. They're, they're like, yeah. they look through, like, so bad. But, you know, they just got met this thing down so well. Well, so, like, yeah, that's a good point. Though. The NBA, like, they, do you see them do, like, an approach jump? You know, they do box like a rebound jump. Yeah, yeah. And uh, those kind of things. Yeah. Okay, so think about it's a like it's a stretch shorten cycle. Uh -huh. So they're using the downward velocity mm -hmm. to stretch their tendons and bounce using energy given to okay. them. So they're not used to going. It's less muscular <laughs> effort yeah. and yeah. more like bouncy ball tendons. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we'll see how you do. Okay. So we're gonna move into more like the strength portion of the upper body. Let's do it. Um, so we're gonna put this on sort of like a backpack. Mm -hmm. Right, like here? Yeah. And then we're going to get down for a push up. Yeah. And you're just going to knock out eight push ups. You're going to take a set. We're going to count to about 10 in your head, and you're going to do two. Eight push ups. I'm not Count to 10, and then do two more. Yeah, and then you're going to go wait 10 seconds, two more, two more, until you can't do two. So, this is a way to keep volume, like the total amount of stuff. Yeah low to try and limit soreness for like a golfer, but still get a training effect. Oh, yeah. That's what I need for leg exercises. <laughs> I, get so freaking... I just need to do it long. Yeah, um, so this is, but so this is my way for Where should this be? Elbow it should elbow. hopefully be, so, so under, like I do one band under the elbow, and then the top of it is hopefully underneath my shoulder. So more like that? No, no, it's like, like there. And how am I holding it? Yep, there. That's the goal, because that gives you the most tension. Uh, oh, that, that way it's not... Um, like, just loose. In the middle of my elbows. Yeah. Okay, ten, uh, eight. Eight is the goal. And if it's easy, go ten. We'll go ten and three. Ugh. Hey, that was hard. Yep, so take a sec. You're just going to make like a ten-second count, and we're just going to do two more. and adjust the band, same thing. That's all right, all right. This just won't be tense enough. So just get it, yeah, even lower. That's about failure there. Yeah, try one more. Easy way to get to failure, right? Without a lot of equipment, because usually, like, you need like all the stuff to. Yeah, or you need time. So this is like upper body for golf. Like upper body pressing is not like the most uh -huh. important thing. Yeah. So it's a way to get things done really quick mm -hmm. and let yourself stay pretty fresh. Do you know what you dumbbell row kind of for like ten or twelve? Uh, forty-five. Okay, so loaded. Okay, so we're gonna go. It's eccentrically loaded shoulder flexion. So you're gonna do a. That face and shoulder extension. Uh -huh. We're gonna hinge down and then yeah. we're gonna take a six second count to try and get the arms fully overhead into a loaded position uh -huh. and stand down. 
and we're going back up. Right. Yeah, so the goal is... Am I, am I bending over when I do this? Yeah, so, well, so you're going to pull down, and then you're going to hinge over to like 90 degrees, and you're going to feel like your abs are tight, everything's on, okay. and your and arms go back up overhead. Yep. Like this? So basically, stay standing for this first part, right? Right. And your arms are straight, and you're trying to make power. No, no, you're just getting into position to load the the shoulders eccentrically, <laughs> shoulders and lats. And so now, and you might just want to move back a bit after this first one. And so now this is the loading. So six seconds, and a six count. Just resist, resist, resist. Long straight elbows if you can. <laughs> Two, three. That's better. Yeah, that looks good. 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 Yep. There you go. Good. And so we'll bounce back to that ISO push up. So, again, think of this as like essentially loading the shoulder eccentrically through, through like a pretty good range of motion. Because what we want in the golf swing is to be able to add up and flex, <laughs> add up and flex through a big range of motion. Add up, and what's the flex? The flex is lifting your arm up. Yeah. So like if you're if you're a person at home who kind of goes to pick their arm up with their head and their arm starts to bend, or if you kind of do one of these because okay. you don't have a nice solid mm -hmm. shoulder range of motion, this should benefit you. Oh, okay. Get one more reach. Just stay pretty tall when you do this part. Yeah. You should feel like your lats work. Okay. 
How many more? Three. It's the same thing, long arms on the way up. If we need to lower the weight, we can. Yeah, but, it's lower. Right? Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's, it's hard. It's hard to hear, but then once it gets above there, yeah. it's like, it's not hard. Let's see what that looks like. And it like makes me want to bend my arm. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, you should try some biceps now. Okay. So, uh, dumbbell curls. I just do two sets, eight to 12 reps. Okay. And then we'll kind of find, I have a weird time doing triceps in here, so okay. I typically just stick with this. Okay. It's just mediocre. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so whatever you feel comfortable with dumbbell-wise. Alternating? Either way, just arms to me, it's like, doesn't really matter. You just, so that's 35, so you're gonna go, that's a 30, so you're gonna have, yeah, you're two 35s. Eight? Eight to twelve, anywhere. Each okay. arm? Yep. All right, guys, so that's the full upper body workout that we're doing here. Drew, not like super intense on the upper no, body. No, no, just, just enough to do and feel something, but. So lower body, you don't mind like wiping yourself out uh, as much as upper body? It, so not wiping yourself out, I would never do, yeah. but I'll push weights, mm -hmm. intensity, a little bit harder on the legs. Mm -hmm. And the upper body is just sort of there to support like structure. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And uh, cool, speed building stuff like that. If you guys are interested, Drew will make up a uh, uh, personal workout plan, just send them the, like, the equipment you have and, and just uh, uh, you guys work together and get like a, a good workout plan for you based on what you're working on in your swing and then also like what you have available to you, time and other stuff. Connect with him at D underscore Cooper 86 on Instagram and I'm gonna try to get him, sometimes I do these videos, I think it'd be fun for you to do on Be Better Golf, it's real simple, you just set the camera up and it's called What I'm Working On. So for like, you hit balls for like 15 minutes and you just kind of talk to the camera about what you're working on and just tell us the numbers. I think that'd be a good way to keep updated with what you're working on your yeah. swing and just keep you on the channel. It'd be fun. Cool. All right, guys.